Hey guys, um, today I'm really, really excited because I'm going to be trying out some new Makeup Revolution products. Um, <clears throat> this is mainly about the foundation, but I also have their new glass skin primer, so I'm really excited to try that out as well. Um, so yeah, let's just get straight into it first. Um, my eyes are just like an orange look that I filmed, so that should already be up on my channel, and if not, it'll be coming, so if you want to watch that, go check it out. Um, but anyway... Let's get straight into the video. So the first thing I have here is the Glass Skin Primer. And this is, says it's the ultimate dewy finish. Um, that's really all it says. Um, it doesn't say <laughs> have any claims on the box or anything like that. But anyway, I think this packaging is so, so cool. It's just a glass bottle and I just really like it. It just kind of looks very fancy and very high end. Um, but I love the feeling of the glass bottle. It just feels so like luxe, I guess. Okay. So, it comes with a pump, which is nice. So we're just gonna, um, yeah, get started, I guess. Um, yeah, it doesn't say anything on the, oh, oops, on the um, bottle either. Does it smell like watermelon? Yes. Oh, that smells so good. It smells like, um, I don't know if you guys ever tried them, but the watermelon lip smackers, oh. The clear gloss, clear, um, yeah, lip smacker. Smells so good. I really like that. It feels very, very, very thick. Um, but like, kind of like moisturizer thick. Like, you know, when you put on a really hydrating moisturizer. Um, and it smells amazing. But it's getting points from me straight away. I feel like as I'm rubbing it in, I can feel my skin absorbing it. And loving all of the moisture. I feel like it feels really, really nice really really like it so far just off my first impressions i feel like this is one of those products that you could wear without makeup because now my skin just looks so fresh and so beautiful like you could chuck something like this on and go to work because it's i really like this effect it's got so cool first impression if you like it like that um so here i have the revolution conceal and hydrate radiance foundation with hyaluronic acid this is medium to full coverage um, and this one is in the shade F7. Um, so ages ago, I thought I bought this, but I actually bought um, the Conceal and Define one. Which, I, I mean, is that what it's called? Yes. Um, so this has been very long awaited. My eyelash just came off, so I'm just going to fix this up before we get any further. Okay, I think that's all right now. Yeah. Hope so anyway. All right, so yeah, um, I accidentally, so now I have two of the um, Conceal and Defines and I never got to try this one, but I'm really excited to have it here now. Um, the Conceal and Hydrate Concealer is one of my all time favorites by Revolution. So I'm so excited to be trying the foundation. So let's go. I think I already said, but this is in F7. Hopefully this shade works for me feels very very liquidy straight off the bat it's gonna be too dark but that's fine honestly let's be honest when does my foundation ever match wow this is very very light compared to um the conceal and define i'm gonna do one side of the face first so we can see the difference in the coverage I feel like um, because it's so liquidy, it goes so far, like you don't need much product at all. Um, it's not like it dries down really quickly and you need to, you know. Alright, so we've got about one side of the face done now. I actually am loving this, like, straight off the bat. Like, it looks so healthy and so glowy and so beautiful. The colour's actually not too bad now that I've blended it in. So this is the half and half. I feel like these look stunning. Obviously it's only first impressions, but it just seems my skin just looks so dewy and so beautiful and so healthy. I really love this fresh look. And I feel like the coverage is really nice. It'll be interesting to see how this stuff goes, like on my chin and that, how well it covers all that up. It's not insanely full coverage, but it's definitely got a good bit of coverage on it 
I cannot get over how pretty this looks. I feel like, um, but, um, matched up with that primer. Like, oh, what an amazing combo. Why are not more people not talk about this foundation? Like, hello. Beautiful. Okay. So this is how the foundation is looking. Honestly, first impressions, I'm so impressed. You guys can see how dewy it looks, honestly. It's almost too dewy. I'm so impressed. I love this. This is beautiful. What the hell? Okay, I need to like start a petition for more people to talk about this foundation because it is not getting the hype that it deserves. Let me know in the comments if you have tried this foundation out because I would be really curious to see what you guys think. Wow, I love it so far. Okay, I think I'll go on with my fave Conceal and Hydrate concealer. This is in C6.5. So this is like, yeah, the matching concealer. And you guys know, I love this one. It's one of my faves. So. Okay, so this is my skin before any powders or anything. I think it looks literally stunning. Like, so blown away so far. So far, so good. I'm sad because I really don't want to get rid of any of this glow. Like, to bake, I think I'm going to take the Hourglass Veil Setting Powder. Um, and I'm just going to put this on all of my concealer. If I had it my way, I wouldn't put any... Wrong, but I hate hate the feeling of an unset face um, I just can't do it um, so yeah I ha I'm a powder girl I have to I have to powder but I'm gonna take some hourglass ones today because they're generally pretty good um, I feel like they're quite light powders like you know Make your skin look as good as possible, so. I've done that now. And now to set the rest of my face, I'm just gonna take um, the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Powder. This one is in the shade Dim Light. This is just such a nice powder. It's so light, it just sets everything, but I feel like it does a really good job of like keeping the shine there and stuff. Um, and the luminosity and everything. I do really like this powder. It's expensive, but I feel like it's it's a very high quality product. You can see I've set here and it's still got that nice dew, so yeah. I actually just ordered the um, Hourglass Vanish Stick. I'm really, really excited about it. Um, and the conceal a concealer as well. So it'll be interesting to try those. Less browns. Apparently I wasn't filming for the last however many minutes. I'm so upset. Why did this happen? Oh my god, I don't know how long it's been since um, my camera turned off, but it just like the screen went black and I was like. Okay. Um I baked with the um hourglass veil translucent setting powder and then I set the rest of my face with the ambient, I mean the hourglass ambient dim light, and now I'm just bronzing with the Revolution Mega bronzer Ooh, too warm i'm so upset that that has happened oh my god and then i'm not gonna know how much of it i wasn't filming until i get back and edit this so hopefully it wasn't too much i'm so sad right now what the hell why does this happen anyway i was just saying that i really want to listen to the um watermelon sugar song by harry styles it's just in my head right now and i don't even like it that much like i'm not really I don't know. It just came into my head and I was like, ooh, I should listen to that. Anyway, I have bronze now. Let's take this bake off. I need to turn my heater off as well because it's so hot right now. I'm just putting out my candle. I'm actually so upset that my camera was off. Oh my god, I just... Oh, okay. I'm taking my bake off. Okay, I shouldn't have baked today. It doesn't look that great. You can see like the very clear line. 
Very baked. I should have just um done normal, you know. Just set it normally. Anyway, that's fine. I'm just gonna give my face a good old blending. And I might just take a bit more of the hourglass powder just to so you like it all hide the light if you know what I mean so I'm just taking the ambient lighting powder again oh, I really hate that really bad anyway nothing I can do now so I'm going to use a makeup, Revolu makeup revolution highlighter today I'm actually gonna take my soap highlighter palette um, and I think I might go for this shade actually. That one there. It's so pretty, isn't it? Look at it. Beautiful. I don't think I have any makeup revolution setting powder. I mean setting sprays. I'm gonna go off camera. I'm going to um, do my hair, do my lower lash line, and then I'll be back to show you, tell you how I think, feel about this foundation. Okay, this is the finished look. I ended up going in with the Makeup Revolution lipstick. This one is in the shade Rain, and it's actually in my project pen. It tastes kind of funny, and I don't know if I remember it tasting like that, so I hope it's not like off, but it's pretty. I've applied fine, but it's just gonna taste funny. Anyway. This is the finished look. So this is how my skin is looking and I have to say I'm just blown away. I think it looks so, so beautiful. I am in love with both of these products. I think they're both amazing. The best thing about this is they're so affordable that it's not like you're buying a $50 foundation and it's like a bit of a gamble. Um, I understand buying a foundation is still probably a big deal for quite a lot of people out there. For me it's kind of like eh because... I just like makeup so much but you obviously don't want to be buying a foundation that you're not going to like but at least it's not as expensive as other other products but no I really really like these if you like dewy stuff I think you're going to absolutely love both of them I just think my skin looks so beautiful let's get some close-up action I'll have to try them out separately as well but I think they work so well together and everything else on top of my skin works really well like it all blended fine so no complaints at all. Nothing negative to say. I love them both. Um, obviously, not sure how long the foundation will hold up on my skin. It's like 9 o'clock at night now, so I'm not going to do a wear test. But um, I'm sure there's other videos out there that you could find a wear test on. But yeah, I'm really, really impressed. I think it looks so beautiful. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!